Hello, my name is Paul Henry, Security and Forensic Analyst at Lumension. Welcome to our Patch Tuesday update for June 2012. Well, today's Patch Tuesday absolutely requires some vigilance. Continuing on with Microsoft's revamped security initiatives, and in turn, an overall decrease in patches, we have seven bulletins from Microsoft this period, three of which are critical and four of which are important and will require a restart. Halfway through 2012, we now have 35 patches, which puts us slightly ahead of last year, which saw a total of 99 patches. As always, the highest priorities are the critical issues impacting RDP, IE, and .NET, followed by the important issues impacting Link, Dynamics, AX, KMD, and kernel issues. However, the Link issue also perhaps warrants additional priority attention. The underlying problem fixed includes an issue with true type font rendering, which traditionally has been a serious issue that can also impact other Microsoft software. We also had a patch for HTML sanitization within Link that may also impact IE. Now, while IT administrators should certainly be concerned with these issues, what seems to be on top of mind for everyone is the recent discovery of Flame and its implications. In light of the latest Flame malware, right on the heels of Stuxnet and Doku, many organizations are concerned about how their systems could be targeted by outside state-sponsored hackers. With a remote code execution vulnerability for both IE and Windows 2008 server, organizations should be vigilant and apply patches immediately. That being said, Microsoft handled the discovery of Flame in the best manner possible. In Microsoft's most recent post, they explained that by default the attacker's certificate would not work on Windows Vista or more recent versions of Windows. Attackers had to perform a collision attack to forge a certificate that would be valid for code signing on Windows Vista or more recent versions of Windows. On systems that predate Windows Vista, an attack is possible without an MD5 hash collision. This reiterates the criticality for IT administrators to update legacy Windows operating systems. Another subject for today, of course, is weaponized malware. With the public admission that Stuxnet was an offensive cyber weapon developed in part by the United States, and with increasing evidence that Doku and Flamer were also U.S. cyber weapons, it was predicted that other countries would quickly follow suit. These predictions have already come to fruition. India has announced that it is currently finalizing plans which would give the Defense Intelligence Agency and the National Research Organization the power to carry out unspecified offensive operations. Let's look at the details today for Patch Tuesday from Microsoft. We have three critical bulletins, MS-12036 impacting RDP. We have MS-12037 impacting IE and MS-12038 impacting .NET. Again, these are our critical vulnerabilities that demand immediate attention. We have four important vulnerabilities, MS-12039 impacting links, and as noted earlier, while this is rated by, you know, as important by Microsoft, it could be regarded as perhaps needing a higher priority because of all of the underlying fixes within this patch. MS-12040 handles Dynamics AX, MS-12041 KMD, and MS-12042 takes care of kernel issues. Now, outside of Microsoft, we, of course, had a statement from Google issued this week that they will warn Gmail users if they are being targeted by state-sponsored attacks. While this is a plausible effort, is there a point if it isn't actionable? As we saw with Stuxnet, state-sponsored malware is the most complex kind uh, of malware that we've seen to date. Also, the question arises of how Google will know whether or not a specific attack is, in fact, state-sponsored. The issue of attribution is a very tricky one. While questions remain as to how such a notification from Google will come about, one thing remains clear. We'll be sure to see more of this activity, especially here in the U.S., after our government's recent admission to Stuxnet's creation. Adobe. Adobe has released a security update for Flash Player that impacts Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. The corrected issues can potentially allow an attacker to take control of an impacted system. The update specifically addresses seven CVE-related issues. Adobe has also released a patch for Cold Fusion 9.0.1 to handle CVE 2012-2041. 
This has been our Patch Tuesday update for June 2012. Thank you for listening.